Exercise 7. In this exercise, we take a look at the functionality inside SOLIDWORKS for locating a parting line using the non-mold tools that are in there. In this case, you can see this is a very com uh, pretty complex part. It's like a wristwatch. And it's very difficult to try and use the tools that are inside SOLIDWORKS to get this to split. And so we're going to go ahead and put these split lines in here and then create these surfaces so we could extrude them out and separate from cavity from core. Now note that I'm not going to go ahead and do all those steps inside this exercise, but I will go ahead and show you how to create the split line as well as extruding out or creating these uh, lofted surfaces between it as well as the filled surfaces inside here, which are not terribly complex. So let's begin. Let me go ahead and I'm going to open up <coughs> the part. Now as you can see here, this is what, how the part was modeled. There's no parting line edge here. Those are tangent edges. And if we look from the top, you can see that is not the parting line or silhouette whatsoever. So to get the silhouette edges on there, what you do is you just go up to the top to insert, curve, and split line. Now, you want to make sure Silhouette is selected, and the plane that you would select would be the parting line, essentially, if it were a planar parting line. In this case, the front plane works really well for us. And then what you have to do is you have to select the faces to split. Now, I'm, again, I'm just going to do some very basic ones here. I'm going to select this side face here and then this one. And you could go all the way around if you needed to. In this case, um, I'm not going to go through that. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the green check mark to apply. And what you should see now, we have our parting line edge. That's the silhouette. That's the furthest extent of that radius that goes out, which is uh, what, what we need in order to split it. So there's no undercut. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the right plane, which runs through kind of not quite the center. And I'm going to just hold control and drag out this line to the right to create an offset plane. That side, hit the green check. Select that right plane again and drag it to the left. Just like that. Now I'm going to select that plane 9 and start a sketch. And I'm just going to select the party line edge that I took. Hit convert entities and it should project it onto the plane. And now I could hit Rebuild, and I could use the Surfacing Toolbar. If you right-click on any of these tabs, you'll find Surfaces. You'll find Surfacing Toolbar, select the Surfacing tab, go to Lofted Surface, select the profile that you just projected to the edge that you wanted to loft up to. That was that edge that we just created. Hit Apply. Go ahead and we'll repeat that on plane 10. We start a sketch, select that parting line edge, and hit convert entities. And now hit rebuild or exit sketch. And just go to loft and make sure you select the proper edge there for the loft between. And so there you have some surfaces that you could use. Those of you who are more in depth uh, understand how to create and use those to split the solid body once you've created the cavity. You could do that. You might need to also create some surfaces in here. There are the tools and the mold tools that will allow you to do this. It doesn't always work as planned. So these are typically tools that you would use to augment or to complete what you need to complete. That's the, not, not, these are kind of workarounds you might say nowadays. And we'll go ahead and use filled surface for these. And the next thing would be to bring it into an assembly, extrude a block through it, use the cavity tool, and then use the faces to split. There's different options in there, and I hope to make a video of that. It's just a little too complex right now to work on. I'll have to make that later. And that concludes exercise 7.